I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. This is your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 187. And today we're going to talk about change. Change is essential on your journey to code freedom. Uh, And, um, you know, I heard a quote uh, that I just thought was powerful today and I thought I'd share with you all. And and he said, growth is optional, but change is inevitable. I'll say that again. Growth is optional, but change is inevitable. And so here's the thing. The only thing that will never change is that things will always change. Right. So uh, some people, they can flow well with change. Other people, it takes a little while. I'll be honest. I happen to be one of those people you'd be surprised is I don't like change too much, right? Because I like when I get to a place of expectation and I know how things are going to be and then things get shifted, then it's like, whoa. But I'm, 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 even though I'm a little hesitant to change, I'll still adapt. That is one thing that is good is that I'm, I'm, I'm good at adapting. Um, it's just that sometimes it just takes me a while and I, and I should, I should change quicker, but But the point that I want to make is that um, there's a difference between change and growth. See, we could, things are always going to change, but are we growing through those changes? That's the key, right? Um, Are we intentional about our growth, right? And we've talked about this on several episodes, but I just think, you know, some things just have to be repeated again. Um, And and by the way, if you're listening to this for the first time, welcome to the Code Freedom Podcast. So you get a chance to hear for the first time, but for those of you who've been following us and listening to us for a while, listen, this is something we talk about all the time on Code Freedom. And the thing is, um, the, the way to grow is you got to be intentional. Like, where are you right now? And then where are you trying to get to? And how do we know that we've arrived to that point? You know, and, and so there's lots of different uh, benchmarks that you can set for yourself. And the, the the biggest benchmark is how many people are you serving, right? How many people have you helped um, in what capacity? You know, that's key because we want to constantly measure how well we're doing by how well we're impacting other people's lives. Because if we impact other people's lives, your life will always be great. Help enough other people get what they want and you, my friend, will get everything that you want. So growth is optional. That means you don't have to grow, but change is happening, whether you like it or not, right? Um, You know, the the last five years, the last 10 years, the last 20 years, is going to be about like this. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. And that's not going to change. You're going to have some opportunities, but you're also going to have some difficulties. And you're going to have to find a way to grow not only through the opportunities, but grow through the dis- the disappointments as well. Learning to discipline your disappointments so that when you go through stuff, you can say, hey, what's good about this? And you can come out on the other side in a positive light rather than in a negative light. It's our mindset. We always got to be freeing ourselves in the mind. And it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a journey, you know, because, you know, for how, how long have you gotten to this point of where you are right now? You know, and the way you think and the experiences that you've had as a child and all those things that have brought you to where you are right now. And now we got to decide, OK, what do I want to be? What do I want to do? What do I want to have? And then 
how am I going to intentionally and consistently change that on a regular basis? Because it took a while to get here and it's going to take even just as longer uh, to shift that whole narrative. So we change is going to happen. But again, what are we doing to make sure we grow? And a couple of things that you can do is, of course, you know, what you, what are you listening to? Who has your ear? There's a quote that says, he who has your ear has your future. So who are you listening to on a regular basis? Are you listening to mentors and coaches? Are you listening to some of your friends? And if you, and there's nothing wrong with listening to your friends or maybe even family, but you got to look at the fruit. Uh, do they have the fruit that you desire? And if they do not, then you do not want to be listening to them because um, you don't want to accept advice from anyone more screwed up than you are. And that's something that someone, a CD that someone had produced and I never forgot it because it just resonated with me because I know um, who I can ask certain things to and who I cannot based on the fruit that is evident in their lives, right? So if I want to get financial advice, of course, I'm going to go to some of my millionaire business partners, right? And they can give me some sound financial advice. But that very person um, that I'm getting the financial advice from may not have the best of relationships, possibly, not always, sometimes. I know I have some millionaire business partners who have incredible relationships, but then um, I'm sure that if I really just, you know, peek behind the curtain, I can see some relationships that don't have the best. Um, so I, understanding who that you want, who you want to glean from, who you want to talk to, who do you want to get your advice from? Uh, so, so anyway, what are you listening to? Who has your ear? What are you reading? Who are you surrounded around? What's your, what's, what's your environment every single day? Those are all important things. But at the end of the day, we have to set the sail. We have to set the narrative of what we are going to be. You know, there was another quote today I got that kind of flows right along with what we're talking about is write history. Don't just read it. You get the right history. So you get to decide what's going to happen for you and your life. And it's all about choices. Life is nothing but a series of choices. And we get to decide what we want to do, what we want to be, what we want to have. But the key to this whole thing is, are we growing through it? Because you're going through it, but are you growing through it? That's key. Like, you're going to go through it because you have to. You have to go through what you got to go through. But what if you could go through it and grow through it so that you don't keep coming back to it? So that you, when, when it happens again, you're stronger, you're better because you're like, oh, I've been through this. I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. And let me just end with a quick funny story. So this guy, he's stuck in a hole. And I may have shared this story before, but he's stuck in a hole. And um, all of a sudden, uh, he doesn't know what to do to get out. So all of a sudden, someone comes by and like, and he's like, hey, help me. And, 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 and it's, a, it's a businessman. So the businessman actually writes a check and throws it in the hole. And he's like, what am I going to do with this? Right? So then someone else comes by and it's a pastor. And the pastor sees the boy uh, and he writes a prayer and throws that down the hole. And he's like, well, thanks for the prayer, but man, what am I going to do with this right now? You know? And so, uh, you know, several people came by, businessman, pastor, but then all of a sudden his friend comes by and you know what? His friend jumps in the hole. He's like, are you crazy? You were my last resort to get some help. And the boy says, no, I've been in this hole before and I know the way out. And the key to that whole story is that, um, you know, I don't know what the key was. I just wanted to tell you a cool, a cool story. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, the, the point to that story is just that, um, you know, when you find someone who knows a way, then you can obviously, obviously get some key advice from them because they've been there. So they can walk you through step by step uh, and they can show you how to grow. Like, like, who do you know that is growing on a regular basis? That's a question, right? That's somebody we want to be around. Who's constantly transforming themselves? Like, they're just not the same person that they were six months or a year ago. That's a good question to ask. But the key is just 
evaluate in our surroundings, evaluate in our, what we listen to, what we see, what we hear. Um, all those things are great to make sure we're intentional. But back to what I said in the beginning, um, where are you right now in terms of whatever you're trying to get to? And then what is it going to take and who are you going to need to become to get to that place where you want to be? Those are some key questions to ask. And like we said on the last episode, great leaders ask great questions. So start shifting the types of questions you ask and watch things start to manifest and change for you. So this is another quick, short episode of Code Freedom, episode 187. I just wanted to share that quick nugget with you because I think it could be really impactful on your journey to freedom, where the goal is for you to do the things that God has called for you to do without having to consult a boss or a bank account. This is Code Freedom, and we are out. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, Definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value and uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, Show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.